Hi guys, today I'm going to review some of the differences between Takara Masterpiece Transformers figures and some of the knockoffs um, that come out for these figures. Um, the, this is really just my experience with the figures that I got and the you know the Transformers Masterpiece figures I got. Others might have different you know experiences depending on what they get, kind of luck of the draw, which wave they got, and you know there's there's lots of different factors here. Um, but I'm going to go over what I have. I pretty much have all of the um, knockoff figures except for Masterpiece Optimus Prime, and I'm going to talk about that briefly. Why I didn't get it, and you know what some of the differences are and why someone should or shouldn't get it. Um, but first thing, let's talk about the box. Um, I'm just going to take out the one box for Sideswipe. I'm not going to take them all out. This box uh, looks to me... I did actually own the the Takara, the original. I bought that for 80 bucks. After seeing this come out, I realized I don't need to buy this for $80. This was $36 shipped. Uh, from China, it does take a long time to get here. In the United States, they and they don't come well packed. So if you're really concerned about your box, um, you know, quality, you know, condition, you know, you can see some damage on the box. But I don't care about the box, so that's not a big thing for me. But obviously, these come shipped from China in pretty cheap packaging, so they're not going to come here in you know mint condition, you know, C9 box, E10 box. Uh, but it's basically the same as any standard Transformers Masterpiece box. Um, what's really surprises me is the fact that they got these logos with the holograms in them. Yeah, it's a really good reproduction. Um, and on the back, pretty much everything's a photocopy here. Um, so that's it for the box. Let's open it up and take a look at inside. Uh, you pretty much get the exact same thing you get with a Masterpiece figure. You get the tray. Obviously I've removed the figure. Um, the, his, uh, this is Sideswipe's pile drivers. Those are still in there. And then you get the little indentations for the guns. Um, but that's basically it. It's pretty much the same. And then you've got the instructions. They come in this little plastic sheath. Uh, also in here you get the collector's card. Um, I have that separately but here's uh, here's an example of a collector's card. This It's in a little plastic case so excuse the reflection here. Um, but to me you really can't tell the difference between one of these photocopied collector's card and the Takara. Uh, this is a KO collector's card and this is a Takara, and you know some people say the blues are a little bit bluer on the Takara, and that might be true. You know maybe this doesn't come across on the camera. This is a little more purple, and this is a little more blue. But who cares? I mean, these look identical. They feel identical. The card quality, and that sort of speaks to Takara. You know, this is kind of a disappointment that. Why didn't they make these a little bit nicer? But um, bottom line is I can't tell the difference other than some minor coloring. If I were to hold these up side by side, I don't think anybody would know. Um, so that covers the card. Instructions, again, these are photocopies of the originals. Uh, they look just fine. They are a copy. So not much more. I mean, if you want the original, then don't get these, but these are good enough to, for me. All right, now let's move on to the figure, um, or one of the figures. So obviously this is Masterpiece Sideswipe, and I'm going to bring in the Red Alert figure as well, or Alert figure. Um, so this was really the first KO that came out. Uh, at least first high quality one and you know Sideswipe is really just very well done um, there were some flaws and I'm going to talk about that uh, the first one is his gun and this is true for a lot of figures 
they're they're loose in the hand and one of the reasons they're loose is these these tabs do not have very good production or consistent quality control so they tend to vary in width and size so when they go into the hand where they're supposed to fit in you know they're pretty loose you can get it to you can get them to hold it see that's loose too you can get them to hold it but you know it does fall down on occasion uh, but again not a major problem unless you're planning to shake these figures uh, just standing you know on display shelf no problems another another issue that this might be more of a problem for a lot of people and I'm going to try to show this before this comes across there is a small white tab right here and there is a or peg I guess and here's a slot for that peg to fit when I first got this this didn't fit together so you couldn't tab the chest in I had to do a little bit of shaving and you know adjustment with an exacto knife it now fits but when I first got it it didn't it didn't fit uh, another problem and this is true for the Lamborghini molds they all have this loose head the ears on top this is part of the transformation the ears sort of come off and you know it's not the best but again if you're just displaying this on a shelf it doesn't really make a difference uh, so that's it for the Lamborghini molds I, I think they all kind of have those same you know kind of problems the, the, the severity to which you get problems is sort of a luck of the draw you know your quality control is only as good as whatever the manufacturers are putting in to be honest Takara has some of the same issues some of the same um, you know I've heard people talking about the gap gap lines and you know maybe the quality of I mean, you can see this FD is a little thick and it's not perfectly centered and that's true but to me I don't care because the price difference this was again thirty six dollars shipped the original can go anywhere from seventy to a hundred dollars shipped so with a third of the price I'm willing to put up with some of these minor flaws and I, I, but I believe actually this one in particular is not that much better on the Takara version um, Sideswipe he really doesn't have any paint flaws on the uh, KO. Um, he does have this, but I've also heard of the original Takara version having this problem. So, kind of luck of the draw, especially when the beginning, you know, back in, this is MP12, back when they were just starting to make these uh, Autobot car figures, they were still learning how to do good quality control. So this one, you know, not the greatest, but it's good. It's good. So we're going to move on to the Nissan cars now. I'm going to get these cars out of the way. Overall, these were definitely worth it. I would highly recommend these. So here we are with the Nissan cars. Or Nissan brothers, I should say. Um, and this is where the knockoff manufacturers started getting really good. You know, they, I don't know how they got it this good. I originally, I did a review a long time ago uh, about knockoffs. And I originally said these had to be factory rejects from Takara that were being taken and sold as knockoffs. I, I've since changed my mind and my, you know, stance on that. I believe these were manufactured in a separate factory or at least on a separate line with separate molds. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons out there. You can watch uh, videos from different people, especially uh, Rocket Punch Army. Um, did a couple of reviews to explain differences. The main thing to me that indicates a difference is, uh, I hope this comes across camera, but basically 
the marking of Tomi has like a thick T and an O and a very thin M and Y. So that's sort of a telltale sign that it was a different mold. I mean, there's many others, but that's just one that's obvious to me. So I, I'm pretty confident these were made on different molds on a different factory. And therefore, you know, it is a true knockoff and not just a factory reject. Uh, but as far as quality, you know, the knockoff manufacturers really started to get, you know, good with these figures. Um, I'm going to try to show this one up close. <clears throat> the paint quality and the molding is really well done, especially on this, on the Blue Streak figure. Uh, same for Prowl, I mean... There are some issues, there's some loose joints in the legs, and um, this gun, the guns don't actually always fit right. The, when I originally got it, it didn't fit, I had to shave the, um, the tab to make this hold. It actually holds pretty well now, but originally it didn't fit, so... I thought, okay, maybe that's an issue with knockoff, but nope, I got a Hasbro version and it had the same problem, the Hasbro version. I had to shave the tab on the gun to make the hand hold it. So even there, that's they even copied the flaw. <laughs> you know, so that kind of tells you that the knockoff is a pretty good copy. Um, this figure, the smokescreen figure, has almost no mistakes, no flaws. Uh, it's really good paint job, really, I mean, these, these are just very glossy, good coloring, so, I think by the time they got to making this guy, they had perfected their, their molds and their practices, or whatever you want to call it, their, um, ability to make these, um, so, I think they really, they really started learning how to do this. Another thing that about the the Nissan or Datsun brothers, if you want to call them, they come with these shoulder cannons, and I'm going to try to show one up close. These things were originally Amazon Japan exclusives. You had to buy either pre-order these figures and get them ahead of time, or buy these separately. These come free with these figures. This red one actually came with smokescreen, but it doesn't really make any sense because he already has these little cannons that fit in here. So I used this for Blue Streak because it's a perfect match to his red plastic. So I used him there. And same with Prowl, he came with those cannons. So I ended up with an extra set of cannons that you know, I didn't need, but basically that's a freebie that they give you when you buy this knockoff figure. Uh, to me, that just speaks to how much, one, Takara is uh, sort of overcharging. Um, some people say that has to go into R&D and marketing and all of that, but um, I still think, you know, $80 for these figures is too much, uh, especially when you consider... Optimus Prime, the Hasbro version, was only $100, $100 originally, and they could have made these far cheaper um, and sold a lot more. Uh, but anyway, that's my opinion. So as far as knockoff goes for the Dotson Brothers, brothers, um, all of them are good. I would say there's probably some loose joints, depending on luck of the draw, but they're worth it. All right, now I'm going to move on to the cassettes. And look at uh, this is Rumble and Ravage. Now these they're they're not perfect, uh, but after reviewing Takara, you know versions of this, they have just as many flaws as these, uh, like paint paint inconsistencies and. Uh, fitment. I, I believe my issue here with Rumble is unique. I've got this loose gun, so it kind of falls down like that. 
Um, so yeah, there you go. I mean, it does fit. It just is not tight, so it kind of falls off. Uh, but other than that, this is an excellent figure. Uh, basically, the, any any flaws with this are really the same as the flaws you would get with the car version. This guy fits well in Soundwave. This one does not, but that was true with the Takara version too. So, bottom line, these are 20 bucks for both of these shipped. So, ten less than $10 each, whereas the originals were $60 for the pair. That's $30 each. Uh, that's really an outrageous price to pay for such a small figure with, you know, you know, limited, they have some accessories, but limited accessories. I don't think these are worth $30 each. Thirty dollars each. So, to me, the, the KO was, was the way to go. And they did come with their own, you know, trading card and instructions, just like all the other figures. Uh, so, my recommendation again here is uh, the KO. The KO wins over the Takara version. Um, now, again, if you're a... Uh, in box collector, mint in box collector, you're probably going to want the Takara version only because the boxes for these are a little bit different. But if you're going to take them out, you're going to display them. I can't see why you wouldn't buy the KO version over the Takara version unless you're going to resell it or something like that. Um, so that's basically it, guys. I'm going to briefly show Masterpiece Optimus Prime. And this is Hasbro version. Obviously, you've got the yellow smoke stacks. Now, I want to talk about briefly why didn't I buy the KO for this guy? Um, I, I watched a lot of reviews. I watched Rocket Punch, Rocket Punch Army pretty much does all the KO reviews. And, you know, he, he gave it, you know, a pretty good review. And I think he is promoting... TFDirect.com, who's selling uh, the KOs, the version 2 Optimus Prime KO. And I think it is, you know, for what it's worth, it's a good figure. Uh, but overall, after watching lots of reviews and reading lots of posts, I've found that it's inconsistent. You may not get a good figure. You might get loose joints. You might get missing parts. Some people have said that they got a left arm and a right arm. There were the two right arms, so the figure didn't transform properly. Um, and it does look good. Don't get me wrong. The KO Optimus Prime looks really good. Uh, it's probably one of the best KOs that's ever been made. But I don't want to take a chance on a figure that may or may not be good quality and maybe having two right arms or two right fists or something else going on because you don't have the same protection you know with these figures especially the Takara ones when you go to a reliable reputable source like uh, TF Source or any of those others they will take the figure back and uh, you know or send you parts for repair if you have an issue right out of the box Whereas for these KO versions, you're on your own. You know, I actually did have an issue with Prowl. I tried to get the uh, seller to do something about it, and they weren't willing to do anything. So I had to kind of fix it on my own. You know, this is Prowl. Um, I had to sort of repair the joints and repair the loose gun on my own. So if you're not a tinkerer or you're not a uh, customizer, you may not want to do that. Um, and, and that's the reason I did not get the KO for Masterpiece Optimus Prime. There are some improvements. You know, I don't have the figure in hand to, to review them. You can watch some of the other reviews, but for the risk of having a bad figure at over $100, I believe it's $150 at this point, and it doesn't come with a trailer. That's another, you know, trailer and roller do not come with the KO figure. Uh, so for that price, I mean, you're that's a big gamble to on whether you're going to get a good figure, and you can't get customer service on it. So, do you want to take that chance? For these, these are thirty bucks. Okay, I'm taking a, I'm taking a gamble. If they're not good, that's on me, and you know I'm down. I'm out thirty bucks, but at least it's not one hundred and fifty bucks. Um, I've had pretty good luck, but at least it's not one hundred fifty bucks. 
Um, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend the Autobot car versions, the KO versions. Uh, they're all really, you know, pretty good figures. Um, especially if you are able to do a little bit of tinkering on your own and you know how to fix some of these issues, um, I would recommend you do that. Uh, but other than that, there really is no advantage to the Takara versions uh, for the price that they're giving you. Uh, if you're a reseller, then yeah, you may not want to get these. Um, but if you're just collecting these and you're not that picky about the whether it's an original or not, uh, this is definitely the way to go. Um, there were reports that there was going to be a KL Wheeljack, uh, but they have yet to make it. Um, so I still have the original here, and you know if they come out with a KO Wheeljack, I will definitely pick him up. Uh, but they have yet to produce him. I think it might have been a little bit harder to make that figure, and maybe that's why it's taking longer. But for now, this is what we got. So I'm gonna hang on to this. Same with Bumblebee and uh, the Exo Suit. Those are both. There's no. Uh, KO available. Um, so that's it. Um, please leave me some comments or if you have different opinions or a different uh, viewpoint on these KO figures, certainly I'm willing to, to see those. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.